As you guys know, I'm actually not born in America, I'm actually born in the Philippines. I was born and raised in a city called Mundilupa City, and I was living with my mom's side of the family. I was the only child, and I was living with my auntie, my grandma, my grandpa, and my two uncles. I was actually also pretty close with my dad's side of the family, which was pretty big. My dad was living in America at the time and he was in Navy, but what it was is that he was flying back and forth to America and the Philippines visiting me and my mom. We had to move to America and it was a really sad time because there was my family and my friends and it was so hard. When my dad was living in America, he was living in the Doriana apartments and I was kind of sad because I was hoping that we were going to live in a house by the time we got to America, but I met the most amazing people I've ever met in my life for the first time in the Doriana apartments. Today they are my best friends and they were so kind and so welcoming. I approached them when I was a little kid and I was just like, hi, can I play with you? And now they are one of the most important people in my life and I'm just thankful to living there. My sister was born around the time that we moved in the Dorian apartments and when my grandpa was alive, he would visit us all the time and he would play with us which made the Dorian apartments much more special to me. One of my biggest inspirations and the most important person in my life is my mom. My mom definitely takes care of most of our needs in our family and without her, like, we wouldn't last at all. She definitely plays one of the hardest roles. Babysitting alone just gives me just a little glimpse of how much she works just to take care of us, to provide for us, and it's hard. Um, mom plays a really hard role because since my dad is employed all the time, she takes on the role of having to be the dad and the mom for all four of her children and it's hard and I love how she does it in a fun way and always smiles and, and she keeps such a positive attitude and we're such crazy kids, I just don't understand how she does it. This is my grandma's ring slash bracelet. It's actually really small on me, which is why I can't decide whether it is a ring or a bracelet. But it is, um, it was given to me by my grandma when I went back to the Philippines for the first time um, after I moved to America. And she is one of the most religious people in my life. Um, she inspires me to grow faithfully and she very much believes that God is there watching us every day. The bracelet is actually very important to me because it has gotten me through the rough times and my grandma always reminds me of that. In the world.